less ingredients on my entire grocery bill than most people will have in like one thing they buy. <laughs> Dude, that's actually so true. So yeah, like, listen yeah. to this, like it's so satisfying. Like I had, uh, and the oatmeal wasn't for me, it was for Trisha, but, but it was still like, it was only the only reason yeah. I was oatmeal. Yeah. Um, but I had like, uh, you know, like the cherries that are organic, blueberries that are organic, we're both frozen. Um, the monster stick, which is for Trisha, not me, so that even that only has like three ingredients. Um, and then, uh, what do we got here? Uh, I, I found uh, uh, dates, so organic dates that are yeah. hidden. And the only ingredient is, and it's organic, is uh, is new our dates, right? No salt. Yeah. You know what's yeah. crazy? When I was looking through the dates. There was one that was like ninety nine point seven percent dates, but then it was like 23 percent sunflower oil. I'm like, how the hell does sunflower oil get in there, right? But but like basically, yeah. all I bought was like single, like everything I bought basically yeah. the ingredient was the thing you were buying, and it's just yeah. so satisfying. Yeah. Like I was gonna take a photo, and it's like all grass fed beef, and like I couldn't. Uh, the, the grocery store was closed that day, and I went to go to Safeway to see if I could find some ground bison there, and it was like five ingredients in the, in the bison pack, right? Versus what? I go, to, so I was like, I, I can't do that. And then I go to this other place and I buy it and it's like only ingredient, you know, like top, you know, top sirloin yeah. bison, right? So mm-hmm. that's what's been giving me so much energy, you know, like just, mm-hmm. I don't know, I just feel really good that way. Like I've had uh, zero brain fog, zero headaches. And other than uh, I had a turkey dinner on for Christmas day, uh, that's the only day that I felt bloated was when I had like some gravy and like some mashed potatoes. Yeah, and, like, and yeah. yeah but otherwise, like I, it's, I've, I felt the least bloated I've ever felt, no brain fog, really clear focus. Like I just felt so good energy wise that way. Like it's kind of alarming actually. I, just, I had, like I haven't had a crash in like so long that it's nuts. Why do you say that's alarming? Well, it's alarming because it's like, it's just like how many years I operated on one way of being. And then like I said to Trisha, because I, you know, Trisha and I have had some pretty serious conversations about her diet because I'm now realizing that there's another way of being. Like I used mm-hmm. to think it was kind of outside of your control, whether you crashed or not. Or like, you know, I used to think that like your energy levels were wow. outside of your control. Oh, that, like I just, I never, and so Trisha's still in that way of being, of not understanding yeah. it. Yeah. So the other day she had like pancakes in the morning and then she mm-hmm. had um like a rice, like a, like a rice and like a like chicken thigh thing for lunch, mm-hmm. which had like, mm-hmm. a, it was like not good chicken thighs. And I told yeah, yeah, yeah. chicken thigh though, it's like, no, it's only like, yeah. Um, when I skipped on the getting meat that day, cause it's just yeah, yeah, yeah. work. Like I'd rather not, like I'd rather yeah. actually fast than fucking put the shit yeah, in the body. Right. 100%. <laughs> and then for dinner, she had, um, <laughs> she had this turkey thing. Right. So mm. the next, so then she's like the next day she had no energy. And I was like, and so, so at the end of the day, and she, and she also, at the end of the day, she was like, oh, I'm not that full. Like I kind of, my stomach kind of feels upset. And she wasn't eating her steak. And I said to her, I said, you know, it's, it's really interesting that like yesterday you filled yourself with shit food that gave you no energy, which is causing you today to not eat that food that's going to give you energy. And I said, this isn't random. Like you just wrote off a whole day because of what you ate yesterday. But I'm like, was it worth it? Like were the pancakes that amazing? You know? <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah. Is, first of all, uh, if you don't mind, I want to cliff like the last like three minutes of what you just said and uh, use that as like almost a testimonial. Not even it's, to me, it's, it's, but the right. fucking the other side of things, like the new model of operating in it. And before I go any further, did you have you watched any of the week two content? Yes, I watched. Um, I watched the first two videos. Okay, cool. So in the um, in the ultimate game, uh, it kind of talks on it, but then the the new paradigm on energy, it really talks about what you're kind of speaking to. Of like, dude, I didn't even know that like this was in my control, or I didn't even yeah. know what I mean? like. And, and it's this like new, that's why I say it, it's this new model of operating because you're literally switching gears from operating with a lot of stuff outside of your control, thinking like we're, we're in this confine of energy and this is what we get dealt with every single day. And sometimes we get this, sometimes we get that. When in reality, yeah. like, when in reality, it's like, here's what we think we've been operating in. And like, in reality, it's like, this is what we have to actually operate in. You yeah. Know? And do you, do you know, um, are you familiar with like, 